Okay, hi everybody, my name is Mark and today I'll be showing you how to do a simple, uh, quick slideshow in After Effects. Okay, we have our After Effects window here and uh, sorry if it's a bit cluttered, I'll open a new project. So you go to New, New Project. Alright, now everything is all clean and we can start afresh. So, um, to import your pictures in, you can go to File, Import, File, or Apple I. Now, what I like to do is I like to go to the project uh, panel here and double click. And that brings up my import file dialog box. So, I have my pictures here and I'm gonna just select some for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, and Okay. Alright, now that all my photos and my pictures are inside, I just have to make sure that they're all selected and I drag them to this. This icon here, what it does is it creates a composition. After Effects works in composition, so you have to create one and once you let go, it says new composition from selection. So after Effects knows that you're gonna bring in all these photographs and you're gonna make one composition out of them. But you can also make multiple, which is not what we're doing today because we're just doing one slideshow with one single composition. So now, um, use dimensions from. So I know that birdhouse.jpg is a portrait photo, but I don't want that. So I want it to use the widest photo, which is usually a landscape photograph. So I know that this one, chasingcars.jpg, is a landscape photograph. So I will let it use the dimensions from chasingcars.jpg. Still duration. Okay, so this means that when your photo is in, uh, is is being played back, it will stay still for how many seconds? So now it's five seconds. That's quite okay. So I'll keep it at five seconds. You can change it if you want to six or seven, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I just keep it at five. Now you don't have to do add to render queue. What it does if you check this, it will render as you work on it. So actually if you're already in a hurry and this is for something really quick, you can do it. And by the time you're finished, it will probably be almost done rendering as well. But not now, I mean I don't think that I will do it here. So basically, sequence layers, uh, you're going to need to keep this checked because what this does is I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 photographs. So this will make sure that the photographs, when they come out in the timeline here, they will not be all uh, one after another. They will be in sequence. So um, when I get to the timeline, you will have a better picture of what I mean. Overlap, yes, keep it on. Um, duration of dissolve, yeah. So this, this basically means there's one second dissolve. So you can have a option to go and cross dissolve front or back layers, but I'll just keep it on front layer for now. And we go to OK and bang. You see that all the photos are already here and this is what I mean by sequence. So after effects is smart in a way that it is able to go and put it all into a sequence for you. So pretty much this is your quick and easy um, slideshow done. So I'll just go through it once. And there's your dissolve. Okay, what I like to do just to make sure that the size is all similar, I like to open this up here. This is your title and action save grid. So this will show you where it will be on, on, on the displays of some monitors or some television sets. Uh, a range of whether they are like big or small or widescreen or you know 4x3 normal resolution. So basically anything that falls under this first border will be safe and will be shown. This is the titles safe and this is the action safe. Okay, so as you can see, I have 
the photographs in the sequence that I want. So maybe I think I will put chasing cars before birdhouse. So that means that I need to click here on chasing cars and then bring it up above. Okay, I'll just bring this here, align it with that and bring this to the start. And that's it. And there you have it. Well, for the sake of um, a more complete project, I would add music to this and if you, there's a song you like or there's a soundtrack you like. But uh, you can do that in Final Cut Pro or any other uh, video editing or non-linear editing software. So basically that's it uh, for this tutorial. It was pretty easy to do and um, you can have a slideshow within 5 minutes. So thank you for watching. and. Um, Hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.